bitches and welcome back to my channel. We have a very, 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 very exciting video today because we're headed to the Orange Theory Fitness Studio that started it all. This is my old original stomping grounds. This is literally my home studio, the studio that I have my membership through, literally. I never really come here anymore though, mainly because where I live and I work just really doesn't make enough sense for me to just go to this studio and I've just been so out of it for so long. Like I used to work there. I worked there for eight months. I knew so many members. I even know that I have a Fitch that follows me on Fitty Freckles and I was her membership advisor. I was the person who sold her membership. Like this place is just like the only reason I even got involved with Orange Theory. Essentially what had happened was I was in college living in an apartment complex and they were building an Orange Theory literally right across the street from my apartment complex. I'm like, what is Orange Theory Fitness? So I talked to some of my friends. I'm like, guys, you know, summer's coming up. Summer's here, baby. Summer's coming. I think I'm going to get like another little job going on. So I popped my head in Orange Theory and I was like, hey, what is this? Are you guys hiring? Like, I don't know what this is. They're like, do you know what Orange Theory Fitness is? And I'm like, no. And they're like, and I was like, I like fitness though, and they basically gave me a shot. I like sent somebody my resume, and then I got an interview, and then I got the job. And then that's how it all began. Before I started, they had me take an Orange Theory class at another studio though. So this is not the studio that I took my first Orange Theory fitness class at. It's just, you know, the one that I took like 90% of my classes at when I first started out, and I would come here all the time. I lived two minutes from it, and it was amazing because I would always take the 5 a.m. classes, and I would literally just get up at like 4.50 a.m., and that was so easy. So anyways guys, let's head over to the studio. We're taking class with an awesome coach today as well. She's an OG. She used to be the coach that I pretty much took like majority of her classes. It's crazy how times change and things happen the way they happen because the coaches that I used to take class with like all the time, I literally like never see. So it all goes in waves and this and that. And when you move, this happens, that happens. But I'm so excited to get back in one of Amanda's classes. I've always been dying to make this video. So let's get over there and check it out. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh god, this is gonna be good. Oh my god, let's go. Here we go. We are here, rolling up. That's Coach Amanda's fresh car. There it is, y'all. Freaking orange theory. I'm hyped. I'm too hyped. Here we are. Coach Amanda, <laughs> what's up? What's Guys, so many nostalgic vibes. How you doing? A long time no see. I know. Hello, hello. Guys, I used to be behind this desk. She did. She used to work here. Doing what oh. you were doing. Yeah. I got y'all checked in. Oh, snap. So, like, Thank you. Your treadmill. Starting on the treadmill. That's okay. That's all right. Yeah. Wait, you know what? I know. I know you hate it. No, no, no. I don't hate it, but I just have a question. What's your opinion on starting on the treadmill versus starting on the floor? What's the difference in the benefits? It depends on your goal. So if your goal is to get leaner, build some lean muscle, burn fat, starting on the rower. If you're trying to get be better as a runner and get your speeds up, then I'd say start on the treadmill. That makes a lot of sense because yeah. recently I had to start on the treadmill and my all out was so much faster so than it's ever yeah. been. So speed is your goal and you want to get better at running than treadmill, but ultimately it is really better to start on the rower because your body yeah. is Yes. And warm. Woo. I have to start on the treadmill. A lot of people do. My mom's yeah. all about that. Oh. You know, I got my mom I used into to be it. like that. Yeah. I used to always start on the. Treadmill. I always start on the rower mainly because people always told me that like if you start on the rower, you have more energy when you're on the floor, and then you can lift heavier weights, lift and heavier, then like have better said, form. Yes, better form. It helps yes. Prevent injury. And then also the way I see it is when I'm on the floor, like my tempo will be more slowed down. Like if I run first, whereas when I get on the treadmill, I hit the same numbers regardless of how regardless, tired I yeah. am, and it like forces Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Know what I'm saying? That's what Thank I'm talking you. about. Hell Week's coming up. Got anything to say about Hell Week? Do it. Get in. Do it. Get Don't in. Sign up. Yeah. Awesome. Hell Week's the best. Sign your name on the dotted line. Yeah. 
Sign your life over. My mom signed That's up for it. Younger. She's Did like, she? yeah. Behind the scenes, what <laughs> is this? We got, take it away, Amanda. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us behind the scenes. This is our little mic piece. Oh. So we each have our own. That way we don't have to share a germ. That's that so, way we don't get sick. That's so sanitary. Yeah. So this is the mic, and then that's the little head. Yep. Don't show anybody the template. Oh, I won't. How do you strap on the... Show us how you get geared up. Oh, you wanna see? Yes. Okay, cool. So the mic goes around here. We do have a fanny pack, which I wear sometimes. Okay. Clip it right here. If you don't wanna wear the fanny pack, you if can clip it. If you don't it. wanna wear the fanny pack. Oh, okay. look, I got my hands free. Woo, I love it. That's super easy. Did you see how we moved the rowers up too? Oh, I see. It used to be further back and we moved them up, so like, look at how much floor there is. This studio actually is big. Now that, because I, I was so used to going to smaller ones. Yeah. Wow. Right. We got a good studio. A party today. Yes, we are. <laughs> Woo, station number one. Oh yeah, it's about to go down. Oh, it's about to go down. Oh, it's about to go down. <laughs> station one. Woo. All right, it's going to be a strength day, so it's all strength on the floor. We got some upper body, lower body, and core work, so if you're going to need any options throughout, let me know. We'll be decreasing in rep count there. Challenge the weights. The treadmill is more going to be endurance based, so you will have a three minute push, two minute push. Your pushes will get shorter as we go. Couple all outs within time, but the highest will go is 3%. Woo! Sorry, I like to hear. Place that hand down. If you need an option, bring your knees 
stationary workout, full body, which was awesome. We were hitting all the body parts. There was a little bit of rowing, but it was kind of like, you had to be really busting through that floor block to get to the rower today, yeah. but hey, I'm not complaining, you know what I mean? <laughs> we don't need to be rowing all the time. But um, this is Coach Amanda. She is my OG Orange Theory coach. I actually used to come to her class literally all the time when I lived so close, but I'm so glad that we took the time to make this video because yeah. being back in your class made me realize, Fitty, you gotta get yourself here more. Come on, Fitty. Sorry. <laughs> I love how you like tell me to do things that are like a little bit harder. Like today with challenge the you? challenges. <laughs> you challenge me because yeah. she knows me. So, <laughs> Coach Amanda, tell us your story about how you became an Orange Theory coach because I think it is an amazing story. Let's hear it. All right, so out of college, I was in the corporate world doing mortgages at a bank. I wasn't very happy with it. I wanted to pursue health and fitness. I was an Orange Theory member about six years ago. Whoa, we got Yay! an OG. Oh my gosh. She got more Six years, years on me. Ago in Florida, where Orange Theory originated, and then I was getting my personal training, and one of the head coaches, Brian, Woo! in Florida, asked me if I wanted to work for Orange Theory, and I said absolutely, and the rest is history. Yeah, and then you actually moved. We're in Pennsylvania now. Now I'm in Pennsylvania at the Devon Studio. Mm -hmm. um, I'm the head coach here. Yeah. Brian's actually the head coach at Ardmore, so we get to be side by side again. Yeah. Um, and it's just great. Orange Theory is the best workout, hands down. And I don't just say that because I work here, but I take the workouts all the time. What is your favorite thing about being an Orange Theory coach? Being able to motivate so many people at once. It's just, it's so much fun. Yes. And, and everybody loves it. Yes. And yeah. I feel like you're so involved with the studio. You're always doing like the runs or you guys are doing a run to flow. They do this thing here at Orange Theory Fitness Devon. Run, row, flow. So we do. It's so much fun. This is like our fourth time doing it. We do a 45 minute OTF class and then we drive over to Bulldog, which is a studio down the road and we do a 45 minute hot yoga flow so That's it's like amazing. 90 minute workout but a little bit of everything okay yeah i'm yeah. definitely gonna have to pop in on one of those yeah well today's class was awesome so it's great you. to see you i love you too <laughs> you gotta give a shout out to julie because you guys know that my heart rate monitor has not really been working and it's because i needed a new battery i don't know if it's because it was my home studio or just because julie's so awesome we'll always change your battery yeah, so if you need a battery this is the spot to be thank you yeah. all right guys you have a fabulous night have a good night all right see ya so we started on the treadmill today and because of that I feel like my chart is literally popping off the chain because you're just gonna get more spot points and your heart rate's gonna get up faster on the treadmill than it is on the floor. I mean like that is literally just science. So because I had more energy starting off on the treadmill, that's why my chart is the way it is. I feel so out of breath, but I'm so glad that I just took Orange Theory class on a Friday. It's the best way to kick off your Friday because now you can just enjoy the rest of your night, do whatever you wanna do, and you got your afterburn in, guys. So that concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another Fitty Freckles video again. Follow me on Instagram, and I will see you in my next video.